Hi guys, it's me Jimmy again. So the question is that is going into electronic engineer good for money? If you don't know, I already told you I was in a computer engineering degree. I'm in mean, first year, first two year of computer engineer degree are 100% same of electronic engineer. You will learning basic electronic design, circuit design, AC and design. I mean, what is a transistor? What is a transformer? All that stuff. So I have a little bit experience in electronic, electronic computer engineering are 70% similar. And make sure to watch my video computer engineering versus electronic engineering. How to say that electronic engineering is very good. I mean, it's a very good career to get respect, to get prestige. I'm gonna repeating to get prestige. But in 2015, most of the electronic engineers' jobs are outsourced. I mean, if you are USA, I mean, the company will happily hire an Indian electronic engineer paying him less than you. I'm talking from my experience. In Hong Kong, the starting graduate per month salary of electronic engineer is guess how much the starting the starting salary of an electronic engineer in hong kong is annually 16500 i'm not kidding the starting salary of electronic engineer graduate in hong kong is 16500 us dollar 1650 US dollar or you can say 1375 per month because electronic engineering have wide scope like in 80s we need a lot of electronic engineering if you did electronic engineering degree in 80s it will be golden don't get me wrong still electronic engineers will be not failure I mean remember one thing the person who graduated electronic engineering degree is very likely to be a fairly hard to find a job. He can easily find a job. The problem is not finding a job. Now, one hundred percent electronic graduate can get a job. My opinion, one hundred percent. I mean, there is no way. I mean, anyway, anywhere you can get a job. The problem is starting salary. The problem is hard work. I mean the electronic engineering sound really very awesome on the paper at your home in reality 95% you will be working on a paper I mean a real paper you will just doing a paperwork just filling in the blank doing that writing report a lot of people want to do electronic engineering because they want to like they watch some movie like back to the future they want to build some stuff hardly 5% in real world job you will be having some real world experience you will building something 95 percent i'm talking about minimum 95 percent of the time you will just doing stupid paperwork five percent you will basically hold the uh, soldering iron try to solder the uh, some kind of capacitor i mean with some wire or maybe just doing on a breadboard to be honest with you I was so passionate about even I build my own electronic lab. I spend around one thousand Hong Kong, no, one thousand US dollar Hong Kong, or eight thousand dollar. I spend around one thousand US dollar and build my electronic lab before I drop out. Now I feel so sad. I wasted my money. Anyways, that was a good experience. I basically buy a lot, of, a lot of electronic component, transistor, all that stuff. But I found out that it was not for me, and then I chose my web developer degree. You are asking me is electronic engineer good for money personally say no web development computer science much better for money much easier to learn stay away if you are just looking for money if you are looking for prestige if you are looking for job security electronic engineering I have a shell life of I'm not going to say I have a shell life of around 20 to 30 years I mean if you compare to IT degree I mean within three to five year your degree will be irrelevant you need some certification experience for money is not good it's me give me a geek bye bye